Hey, Brett Chittam here with Lawrence Systems, and this is Coffee with Tom and Brett now. And um, we're here to talk about follow-up. And I read a lot in the MSP and the IT community about people sending out quotes, talking with customers, and getting to a point where, um, why am I not closing the sale? Or why aren't they calling me back? And I want to ask you the question, why aren't you following up? And what do you have thoughts on, Tom? There is so much for follow-up that is drives me crazy because it's one of those things of either, if you don't want to do it, just tell me no, that's fine. That's still mm -hmm. a form of follow-up saying no. Um, but that dead air really gives you a bad feeling about a company. And not that you want to be the over pushy salesperson, but you want to be at least responsive. One of my favorite stories is the guy that we use for our signage. He used to work at golf courses. And I asked him, what'd you get into the sign business after you managed golf courses? That's kind of a weird career changer. Yes. Just following art. He had the best answer ever. He says, I figured I could just destroy all the competition in the area by answering the phone. Because as working at a golf course and having to contract sign companies to put signage up in the courses, he goes, I had no consistent company. And he goes, all of them, I had to just round robin calling them until one of them would properly do the follow-up. And yep. he built, well, he's got one hell of a sign business all because he says he answers the phone. That's his secret to success. <laughs> well, answering the phone's important, and and and, and yeah. But understanding that once you answer that phone, what is that process to follow through with, right? And the follow up process, and what do you do after you close a sale? Um, one of the things that I I tend to to remember in my early years as, in sales was that if somebody called your office or called your organization, company, however you want to name that, they called because they were expecting to buy something no matter what they expected you to sell to them why didn't you why didn't you follow up we send quotes out but then we expect them to call us back i know with our process here we send a quote out there's a follow-up and then there's another follow-up and another follow-up and when you look at my task board i have quote emailed quote followed up second follow-up third follow-up fourth follow-up because you need to continually be in front of that customer to keep top of mind. Because you may not have been their only phone call. They may have called another IT company. They may have called three more companies to ask the same question. But who wins in that scenario is the person who followed up the most. Follow up is not about being pushy. It's about caring for that client. Showing them that you truly want their business. And you can even do this not just with the sales side of the process, but just the follow-up after a ticket's closed yep. or after you have some interaction with a client, after a project is completed, waiting a little bit of time and putting it as a process, set a note in your calendar so you have a ritual to do this. Just reach back out to them. Hey, how's that going? How's that thing we installed working? Everything's still happy? It's just, mm -hmm. it's so simple and it's amazingly effective at both client retention, client close rates if you want to get projects done, and uh, the overall feeling you leave people with of like, hey, they are tentative. They they didn't just sell me something. They weren't annoying me to buy it. After they sold it to me, they actually followed up and said, hey, do you still like the thing you bought from us? Yeah, they continue that conversation. Because if, <laughs> if you want to have contracts to hold clients in place, go right ahead. But how you truly hold clients in place is having that relationship and the continued contact after the sale, after an interaction with our ticket process. We have our tickets that come in you know, how we follow up with those tickets after we've resolved them is important because it's about the relationship. It's about caring. And, and it's not about being pushy either. I'm not pushy. Sometimes I'm excitable. You've seen that, Tom. You've had to tell me to calm down. But not being pushy and, and actually having a conversation. I have always said I'm not a good salesperson. I'm a good relationship person. And I think that's the that's the key in your business is building those relationships. But you do that through follow up. It's very important to follow up on every interaction in some way, shape or form. Yeah. And I think the flaw a lot of technical people have, and I suffer greatly from this, is assuming logical behavior of people. They asked me for a quote. I gave them a quote. I never talked to them again because if they wanted the quote, they would just call me back and use it. Right. But yeah. as much as I don't want Brett to be right, he's right about everything he just said. <laughs>
I, you, what do you mean? You know, you brought me in to be right. That's the I know, thing. I did. And, and it's because, like I said, with being more technical myself, this is the problem. I just, I'm always confused where people seem to want that level of interaction, but I forget, oh yeah, other people aren't exactly like me. If they were like me, they probably wouldn't be hiring me. <laughs> and, 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 and when it comes to matters of the heart and matters of money, people are not logical. Right. They're not. They're not thinking in a rational sense. They're thinking into the person that's going to have that touchy feely as much as possible. And that's what that follow up is. And, I, and, and really, in this day and age, especially when so many things are commoditized, follow up and showing that you are that person that is willing to do anything you can to win their business. Follow up says a lot. Absolutely. Well, hopefully this is helpful for you. Hopefully the follow-up leads to a better sale for you. And uh, thanks for joining us. Have a good one.